Osmond Gold gets banned off Twitch. And it has been kind of a firestorm. It's what's trending. Uh, if you don't know who I'm, Osmond Gold is, you need to go find out. I discovered him. Uh, and I'm not a young person. I'm cold, by the way. I'm a little chilly today. Maybe I can take this hood off here in a minute, but that's just knocking off the morning chill. It's a crisp, cool uh, morning here where I'm at in Tennessee. But um, I discovered Osmond Gold. I, you know, it was during the Johnny Depp trial of all craziness, and this guy is a gamer, right? His bread and butter was gaming, and he streamed on Twitch. And then he has a YouTube channel, and he's got almost 3 million followers on YouTube. I don't know how many he has on Twitch or on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. But I find him it's scrolling through one night when the trial was going on, and... Uh, I was looking to catch highlights because I couldn't always watch the trial during the day. Because, uh, you know, busy. You're busy. Everybody's busy. So, you know, you look for those highlights. And, stuff. and I see he's covering. I'm like, who is this guy? So I just start watching him. All right. Because I'm just goofy like that. And, man, he was funny, entertaining. And his face expressions were awesome. Off the charts. <laughs> I'm like, who is this guy? So I'm watching him. I subscribe to his channel. And then I start looking at, okay, I go and I, you know, I go to his channel and look at his feed. And I'm like, oh man, he's a gamer. But he has, he has some other stuff. Now, probably what, 60%. Of his stuff is is gaming. He plays World of Warcraft. I think he started out doing that, and um, and then he just bloomed bloomed from there. But he's entertaining. Whether you you want to agree, not everybody's going to agree with everybody's opinions and stuff like that. But good night. He's entertaining. He's funny, and I like him. <laughs> I don't always agree with everything I've seen him say. And I know a lot of people have, uh, a lot, have just dumb piled on him about his room, his house. And who cares? I don't care. I don't care if his room is a mess. It's his room. So what? Right? So what? I mean, y'all can see my room. I mean, but I don't want empty mugs or, or leaving my coffee cup. Now, do I forget my coffee cup and then go downstairs the next morning and go, crap, my, my main cup, is it, I left it in my room over by the computer area because here it's early in the morning. I'm sipping on coffee, and I might set it over there, and I set it and forget it. Yes, I've done that. So what? <laughs> Like, oh, crap, I got to crawl back upstairs to get my cup, come back down. Because this is my cup. And then I got to wash it and all that crap. But who cares if he has a messy room? The guy is a millionaire. He could hire somebody to come in his room and pick up his crap. But he doesn't want to. Who cares? So what? People are on him about, oh, he's got millions of dollars. Won't he just buy another house or do whatever? Because he says he only spends, um, it's a very small percent of what he uh, said he spent. I was watching something else. He has a show, another podcast. He does uh, Steak and Eggs, I believe it's called. And uh, <coughs> they had talked about, I think it was on that one, because I checked it out. Um, that he only spends, it's just a minute percentage of his total income on his living expenses, like his food, obviously, probably the taxes on his home, whatever, basic expenses, just basic stuff, right? Your, your basic living expenses, and he's fine. He's happy with that. Who cares? I just, I get annoyed 
when I see people do that, criticize somebody else for the way they're living in their house. If if Zach, that's his name, by the way, and he goes by Osmond Gold as well because that's his platform name. If Osmond wants to live that way, it's none of your business. And apparently uh, he doesn't care. If he cared, you wouldn't know it. If he cared about what anybody thinks about his mess in his house, he would have had a green screen behind him and you would have seen some fabulous picture behind him. He doesn't care. And why should you? It's his house. It's his money. He does what he wants with it. Now, are people jealous? Probably. People People are people. People are going to be jealous or envious. Uh, they like to attack people who are successful. Um, I don't care. <laughs> Look, this guy has almost 3 million followers. I don't know how many millions he has on Twitch. And he has other channels, too. He does a podcast. He's been successful. And he cover, He has a, uh, a company, Sky, no, um, Sky something. Good night. Anyway, they have a, a computer that's pre-built, or I guess you order it, and then you can order it and send to it. And I hear it's got good reviews. It's got good reviews. So he has this company that they make computers, and he is part of this company. Uh, but he got banned on Twitch. And I'm going to play what he got banned for, and then um, I am going to give my opinion. I'm going to give an opinion on an opinion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. What did he get banned for? Again, I, I like Osmond Gold. And I got up and I got on this morning. And I'm looking and I said, what? How did, I'm going to take this hood off. I'm starting to get a little warmed up. There we go. Now, now I'm not as cold. Kind of warming up here. Sipping on some nice coffee. I saw he got banned. I'm like, how the heck? Now, he says things. If y'all go and check out his stuff, it's not, like I said, it's not all games. Uh, he has his opinion. I think he should have a right to his opinion. All right? So... This is what got him banned on Twitch for, I believe it's for 14 days he got banned for. If you, if want, you to want to consider, consider a, genocide a genocide as a systematic... Okay, let me fix my sound system here really quick. I apologize for that because we got that echo. Yeah, you see my, uh, my technology skills are impeccable. All right, here we go. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity, and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. I believe why he got banned is for this comment for and it is an inferior culture in all ways that right there 
because he said they're inferior culture. How I feel about this, I'm not going to comment one way or the other if he's right or wrong. Then leave that up to other people. My problem is he should have a right to say it. He's not inciting a riot. He's not inciting violence. He's expressing opinion about another culture, about a war that's happening on the other side of the planet that apparently we are very invested in. <clears throat> Our government sends Israel money to fight them. Okay? So, and we've always had a relationship with them, but the thing is, is that he should have a right to say this. And this has just created a, I think it's, I think it opens up dialogue and dialogue is good for people to discuss this. Now look, uh, what, people can't give their opinions anymore. Now, of course, all of these platforms, YouTube, Twitch, all of these platforms are worldwide. Somebody's going to get butt hurt about something. So what, are we just going to ban, ban, ban everybody? Is that what we're going to do? I mean, y'all know Carrie uh, the Lurch got on not too long ago and started spouting that we they the government needs to control what is truthful and what is not speech on these platforms people this is dangerous this is dangerous because who's to say who is the 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 blanket on top of what is truth speech or the truth, because Kiri, the lurch, was trying to say, and, and Harris has done this too, and the left, look, they have tried to say that they need to suppress people who, who spout false propaganda, but they everybody does it. It's so hypocritical. So who's to say? Do, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, we should suppress the liberal libtards speech. No, I would never say that. They need people need to say their opinions. And who is the who is the overseer of what is truth and what is not? This is dangerous. And we all need to wake up. And see that we can't allow this to happen. Look, I'm. It's not the same as somebody would say. Well, hey man, uh, you just can't run into a theater and scream fire. No, you can't. But let's let's not be stupid about this. <clears throat> Osmond Gold should be able to say what he said, whether it butt hurts people or not. This gives somebody else an opportunity to create another video and create discord. Re refute him if you want to. Go and say, hey, I think he's wrong, X, Y, Z, and this is my reasoning. That Nobody's stopping you. But there are people on Twitch platform have, have been only banned for three days for having XEX on, on camera. But they're going to ban him for 14 days because he gave some opinion about some shit that's happening on the other side of the planet. And he thinks that this sex, the people, sec, rather, of people are inferior. That's his opinion. Who cares? People, stop getting butt hurt. Just, it, it's it's ridiculous. Now. There's some comments down here I wanted to look at. And this guy, this guy, a prostate prophet. Look, <coughs> I apologize. <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing. Let me get this. Let me get this where I can read this. This guy here, a prostate prophet, that's his name on YouTube. And I do subscribe to his page. Ramdan, Rid, Ridvan Edmar, 
I guess that's how you say his name. I like him. <laughs> he, him and Daniel, I guess his name is David, David Woods. David Woods and a prostate prophet. They do a lot of live shows together on YouTube. And that's where I found him. I found a prostate prophet first. And he is an atheist. Now, awful disclosure, I am a Christian. But a prostate prophet is an atheist. And he he used to, and I believe he's from Turkey, and he used to um, practice Islam. Devout. Well, he's had a change over the past several years. He has, since he studied, he can read. <laughs> he's very, very knowledgeable. If you're interested in things of this, of different religions, Christianity, uh, how Islam affects things. Go check out his, sh his channel because it's it's very interesting, and they he is very knowledgeable of this stuff. And they had they put on debates and things like that too. You can go through his playlist, and it's 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 very interesting because I know nothing about very minimal about uh, Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, and all this stuff, but. A prostate saying he he says that Osman is right, but you know what? That's this is prostate prophet's opinion. But I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention and go to X and read his comment. He's saying, moreover, if the links have been uh, distant from each other and if obstacles placed by those who are, are the lackeys of Zionism in the way of the fighters' obstruction of the continuation of the struggle, the Islamic resistance movement expires to the realization of Allah's promise. Now, he goes on to say down here, Okay, no matter how long that should take, the Prophet Allah blesses him and grant him salvation, has said. So, this right here is a verse, I guess, out of the slogan of Islamic resistance movement. Uh, uh, the day of judgment will come about un until Muslims fight the Jews. And there you go. Blank and the Jews. When the Jew will ride behind the stones and trees, will hide behind the the stones and trees. The stones and trees will say, Ah, oh, Muslims, oh, Adallah, that is a Jew behind me, come and blank him. Only the Gurkid, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, tree, eventually a certain kind of tree would not do that because it is one of the trees of the Jews. And this is related by Al Burqa and Muslim. So. So I had saw a comment earlier that somebody says that uh, Sharia law was mainly for, like, the family and the household to abide by. Whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know. Now, I'm going to try to, I'm probably going to deep dive into this more. And, and hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure a prostate prophet's going to do a video on this. And I am going to watch it because I get educated uh listening to him talk but if the thing is it. the thing is is that guys y'all want free speech everybody claiming they want free speech the left is all says they want free speech but the lurch comes out and says which is Carrie by the way if y'all don't know who Carrie is <laughs> who does he had tried to run for president a few years back. Anyway, he's this real tall guy, and Rush Limbaugh called him the lurch. It, it was hilarious. But anyway, <clears throat> the left is getting more and more um, open with what they want, and probably good. Okay. We we knew it. We underlined we could read between the lines, but now they're coming right out and saying, oh, we have to suppress false narratives in media. Now, if they want to do that on ABC, CBS, PMSNBC, 
all of these other places, all of these other places, then that's fine. Go ahead, but not on like places like YouTube, Twitch, and every place else. Now, look, we all know during during the COVID pandemic, which uh, Zuckerberg come out from Facebook and said, hey, he was asked to suppress speech during the election. This We should all be very aware of this because we want free speech. You want diversified. Do you want to just be spoon fed the same old shit every day? Or do you want to hear different people's opinions, whether you agree with them or not? This is the this is the question. I love listening to other people's opinions, whether I agree with them or not. Of course, listening to uh, Kamala Harris is hysterical. I don't agree with them, but I listen to what they have to say. And then you make you listen to everything and then you decide it's that's just common sense and we all need to be vigilant we need to be very vigilant and uh not allow them to take this away from us i mean carrie was talking about the first amendment they they wanted they can't stand the constitution people because it binds them Y'all, some of you people may not like the forefathers, but guess what? They they created a system like never before in the history of civilization. America is the greatest experiment ever done. It it's um it's amazing. A lot of people can't even read the Constitution because it's in cursive. But anyway. The Constitution's there for a reason. It's to protect you. It's not there as a some kind of uh, suppressing you. It's to protect us from government. Do we? Do you really want the government to control everything? Now I'm going to wrap this up by saying YouTube, Twitch, these platforms. They don't have to buy by, they can buy by their own rules. So their rules are, yeah, they didn't like what he said because probably a bunch of people boo hoo hooed and, and crowd a river and, and he got banned. But they don't have to buy by the freedom of speech rule that we do when you go walking outside your house or you're talking to somebody. But they have, but they do this. So, you know, now, I guess they can go by public opinion. Like if everybody goes and says, hey, this is wrong. He had a right to say what he said. But why do you only ban this guy who had SEX on, on uh, I don't know if it was a woman or a guy, but we're only banned for three days. That's outrageous to me. That is just simply outrageous. But anyway, um, go complain. You Twitchers out there. Go, go complain and go, this isn't right. He should have a right to say what he wants to say. And look, turn the channel. Who the hell's watching him and then goes cries about it? Why are you watching him? And you know how he's going to talk. I do because I've been watching him for over a year. I've been watching him for over a year. So what's interesting is that sometimes you don't know what side of the fence he's going to fall on. And I like that. Again, do I agree with everything he says? No. But he's entertaining. And and he's interesting. He's an interesting person. Again, you people out there that keep complaining about his room, shut up. Mind your own business. I watch him because he's entertaining. And he's and he's a pretty smart guy. He he's he's educated. He's not a dummy. And I'm not a young person. I'm sure a lot of his audience is is, is under 40. Look, I'm going to say under 40. <laughs> They're young. They they were gamers. They they started out what in 2008, 2010, whatever. Like 15 years. 
So in that time frame, and I think Osmond is 30. Maybe he's in his early, early 30s. So he's still a fair, he's still a young man. He's a young man. Here's a, he was asked to apologize, and I don't, I honestly don't think he, he, he needed to apologize for his opinion. But this is what he said. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestinian thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. Right. So, it's not really an apology. He's just saying... Uh, Hey, look back on it. My bad. Which is fine. He probably shouldn't have said anything. He should have typed in, I have a right to my opinion. If you don't like it, don't watch my channel. That's what I think he should have said in my opinion. But then you got this guy. You just violated your own golden rule for never apologizing. Well, he didn't really apologize. But then he goes on to say, I don't mind apologizing if there's something I think I'm actually wrong about, given the amount of times I've gotten hate for things and never apologized, should be proof enough of that. He shouldn't apologize. He goes live when he's doing stuff. So he's saying things, you know, he is just saying his opinion. Uh, so having opinions is now wrong, Osman. Are you okay, bro? Did someone threaten you or something? You have one of the greatest commentaries ever built, and people like you, for obvious reasons, don't ruin that, dude. There's absolutely nothing to apologize for, and I agree with that. He has an amazing platform. He's built something. I Look, like I said, either listen to him or don't but i think people just watch other people's stuff just to find something to attack them on it, it's it's ridiculous and they need to find something better to do uh with with you know with their time it's weird as f to see so many people coming out with statements about the israel-palestine conflict as if it, they needed to comment on it can we please stop this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events and politics and this was uh when was that posted this was posted a year ago but somebody just said by the way you know, I, again, people are just coming out of the woodwork. Well, folks, he said, my bad. I think that's a wrap. <laughs> and it should be, but it's not. I mean, and these comments, I mean, if y'all go to Twitter and look, and there was somebody on here who said they've been watching him for a long time, for a decade, but they think he should apologize. Well, apparently you... How can you have been watching him for a decade? You subscribe to his stuff, and then you're telling this man to apologize for his opinion? I just find it ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to add this in here. Um, and all these people have, and, and all these people have their own different opinions, and that's fine. Osmond in the morning. <laughs> I don't care if these people get genocized. Osmond in the afternoon. I didn't mean it. He never said that. He. Well, I guess he kind of did, but in a way, I can't. I'm not trying to. I guess I am. I'm defending his free speech of what he can say. I don't think he advocated any kind of violence. He was just saying these people basically <laughs> giving his opinion. He's just giving his opinion. But anyway, y'all can go check this out. Uh, you know, just I don't I don't even know. I, I just I just find it fascinating that uh why would people 
getting butt hurt because of this. He shouldn't even have typed that, probably. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just spouting my opinion. He probably shouldn't have just said anything. Or I, I, He should have wrote, I have a right to my opinion. If you don't like it, turn the channel. As we used to say back in the day. Now it's just click. Click away. Don't don't watch him. Don't listen to him. It's just his opinion. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. But uh, go check out Osmond. Go like his channel. Go check it out. Like it or not like it. You know, subscribe. And check out A Prostate Prophet. Go check his channel out. Uh, I'm sure they're probably going to come up and talk about it. And it's fascinating, the stuff they talk about. Anyway, there you go. There you have it.